Welcome to Qi Talk. My name is Ellie Coyne. I'm a medical Qigong practitioner and energy healing coach. And this Qi Talk is going to be transcribed into the podcast Awaken the Healer Within. We have so many episodes by now, so it's really, really fun. Uh, and we're talking about different uh, topics in energy healing and healing yourself. Uh, so uh, here we go. And this is kind of like a continuation of what we talked last week. We talked about changing your personality, if you remember, uh, changing your character in a way, or like how to how to heal and how to change your vibration to attract different things into your life. And so that was uh, that was the, the topic, and it actually started from uh, the I Ching, the Book of Changes, very the second most important book in Taoism, and it was a paragraph about about changing a person's character. And, uh, and relationship to, to before personal growth, uh, health and healing and happiness and well-being. So uh, let's start with a little bit of meditation, a little bit of uh, energy practice, just as a ceremony to start this process and this talk so we can kind of all come to the same place energetically. So let's uh, kind of close our eyes, if you will and come into your body just putting more attention into your physical posture when we come into a body the easiest way is to come into the present moment to come into uh, kind of a relaxation place is to just sense the body the physical form and shape the different places and I kind of like uh, scan the body to see areas that feel tight, areas that feel open, uh, without judgment, just kind of like come with a curiosity. It's really interesting between judgment and curiosity. <laughs> yeah, we kind of talked a little bit about it last time, but how can we, how can we come with curiosity? That really opens up the energy when we are curious without judgment into how we feel. So when we put attention into our, our physical sensation, we put attention into, again, pain or openness, maybe cold or heat, maybe perspiration, some places in the body, maybe even numbness. Numbness is also a physical sensation. Just see where you are in your physical body. Tingling, there's so many, so many throbbing. And let's connect with the point of contact of your body with the, with the earth. So that would be probably the chairs and the, the feet touching on the floor. Feeling that the pressure that your body put on the floor, on the earth, the heaviness, the density of the body. Let's see if you can lift the crown towards the ceiling and the sky kind of bring a sense of, of uprightness, of composure to your structure. And see what happens. See what happens when you change your physical posture, if you kind of like raise your head up to the, towards the sky. What happens emotionally? What happens mentally? You kind of lengthen yourself up. Maybe take a few deep breaths, a little deeper breaths, a little longer breath in from the nose. Up through the mouth. And 
and acknowledge also the space around you beyond even the wall of your room to the sky the trees the mountains the lakes the oceans kind of like you're sitting without any walls like you're in nature and see if through your breathing practice through your breathing you can harmonize yourself with the universe as you breathe in you're taking all this energy from the mountains the sky the oceans in through the pores of your skin into your internal organs and with each breath in that you take from the universe from this room without a room yeah you sitting in the middle of amazing beautiful nature with each breath in all your organs are receiving that energy from the universe strong energy from the earth from the mountain from the oceans and as you're breathing in you can say that the vibration of the word vitality and youthfulness as you take air in you look at the internal organs and you say vitality or youthfulness or good health See if we can slow up our breath a little bit so the inhalation is slow and long, the exhalation is slow and long. As we do this, Allow the energy of the universe to harmonize all dimensions of yourself. Your physical body, your emotional body. And slowly, let's open our eyes. Hmm, beautiful. This is fun. Yeah, meditation can be really fun and enjoyable and you can feel right away that it feels good uh, in your body. And it's amazing the connection between mind and body. If we think or feel a certain way, our body responds to it in a certain way, you know. And this is really the whole premise of healing, of healing arts and, and what we do in Qigong. And then when we do it again and again and again and again and every day in a daily practice, the body shifts, the energy shifts. And, uh, and this is really the way to facilitate, uh, to ease the process of what we talked before. We talked about three steps, remember? It all started from like a, a conversation, a seminar that I was part of, uh, that I, was, I, I, I wasn't part of as a, a facilitator. I was just registering, listening to these Taoist priests talking about changing your character in order to heal, changing the way you respond to things. And we all respond to things in in different way everybody respond to outside stimuli in a different way and we t so we talked about that and we talked about sometimes we have triggers yeah we we are being triggered by the outside environment by by this pandemic or by we are being triggered in a certain way we think a certain way we get into a fear response or into anxiety or into depression whatever uh, and this all all these needs to be um Yes, yeah, so we talked about the three processes. First, be aware of how, what we think about it, what, how we feel about it, and choose. And then the second step was choose a different direction. Choose, a, choose to respond to it differently. And then the third step was repeating it. Now, this could be, this could be a lot uh, for some things that we are managing you know some some response some trigger some emotional triggers that we have um 
Uh, but I, I think the easiest way to start this process is to start with things that are not very hard to, um, to relate to or to change. So like uh, things like just a, th a thought or a belief about something and that you can, you can, oh, look at how I think about this thing. Is it true? Is it, this is the absolutely true, it's, and it's not, because everybody thinks about different. So changing first from the, from the light to the heavy. So that would be a way to, uh, to, 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 to start this process, this three ways process. But really what, what, makes, what makes us successful in this is to add, uh, to add a mindfulness practice. And so my, what I do, I, I do Qigong. I do meditation and Qigong. And, and Qigong, even more than meditation, it's much more easier for me to connect with and to kind of like do, a, but everybody has a different way, yeah? So if, if, if your meditation is Qigong or, 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 or meditation or um, people are doing art or any, anything that is calming, your nervous system would be a way to in, to a daily basis to engage with something that is calming, like qigong, like walking, like hiking slowly, yeah, like uh, walking in nature or uh, swimming or whatever your meditation, whatever your uh, whatever your uh, kind of um, what add peacefulness into your heart that would start create space. When we have space between our thoughts, we can, we can think clearly, we can be more mindful of this process of, of, uh, of how, we, how we respond to things and how to change this. So this, this was kind of like a conversation that we started uh, last week about uh, how to change your personality and how to change a character. And, uh, and usually it happens, and I remember in this conversation with the Taoist priest, they usually said, usually what it happens, it happens during a trauma. Yeah, people are changing their character in, uh, in a situation of, of like a trauma, like a, like a, a, a big, like a big, something big that happened in your life. It could be even this, this pandemic. A lot of people changed career or changed where they live or like, uh, got either for the worse or for the better, but, but usually a, a personal, uh, either something very good that happened or, or something that, that you relate to it as bad, but there's really no good and bad in Taoism. We always say either it's yin or yang, and you choose how to respond to things. And that's like our work. That's really the work is to connect with, uh, to, to connect with, to acknowledge how we respond to things and how can we change it? How can we change the, our belief system? How we, can we change? And we talked about the attachment and that's, that's the premise of moving from yin and yang to good and bad, our, our attachment. Yeah, we are attached to the three energy center. We attach to our physical sensation. This is pain. It's not good. Uh, this is pleasure. I want more of it. And also uh, emotional sensation, happiness versus sadness. Yeah, one we like, one we hate. And also thoughts. And how can we, how can we, uh, starting to move towards in, <laughs> towards uh, being free from from attachment, from attaching into this, and um, and and it's very important to, to not only, not only work with the body, kind of like what we do in Qigong, we release, we calm the nervous system, like this meditation that we did in the beginning makes us feel very good. Yeah. But then, but then next time that you're going to be triggered by the same thing that you got triggered yesterday, make you feel upset again. So you're going to have to do Qigong again. <laughs> so, so, how do we also work with the Shen, with the mind? How do we also work? So the, so working with the body is very important. And at the same time, working with our consciousness 
uh, is, is also very important. And sometimes we don't know why we respond to things a certain way. We don't know. Yeah, we, 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 we forgot. We had a trauma when we were a child. And now every time that we see a person with a, with a black long hair, we are upset. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. But, but we don't know why. But it's it just like an undertow. It just we respond to it a certain way. So so um, so that's really the work is to acknowledge it and to just choose a different path, even though it's such an undertow that you're responding it so strongly in a certain way. Um, and and you don't have to go into the the really hard core stuff first it could be just light stuff that is not very uh, very triggering but um but this is kind of like the, the work that uh that i was you know part of this seminar and this is kind of like the three steps but the qigong work the working with the body like what we did this meditation or the movement practice really helps to create that space really helps to calm the nervous systems because everything is connected and related but working with the shen working with the mind is also very important so it's kind of like it, it really comes from both direction and uh and and this is uh this is the work and this is the and this is what we 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 want to do and then one more thing that is very important for this process and this is a whole conversation, but I'm just going to throw it out there. And I hope I'm not talking too generally and you know what I'm talking about, but it's 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 uh, it's the it's the whole subject, the whole talk about the comfort zone. And how do you change challenge your comfort zone and this is kind of like tie into to it yeah because we always want to stay within what's is familiar. And the comfort zone, and this is the same reason that that people stay in situation that they suffer in. You know, sometimes you talk, and there's a woman that is is getting beaten beaten by her husband, and she stays there for a long period of time. <laughs> I mean, just this is very extreme. But like, why do you stay there? Because this is familiar. There's the good, there's the bad. She she just knows what good and bad, and she prefers to to. Stay. And this is the the whole premise of the comfort zone. We are comfortable and where we are we know the enemies we know the good and the bad when we don't want to step out of where we are and part of the work is like how do we step outside of of um of what is what is known even the responses of the mind that what, what is known and and so and so that's uh it's 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 a little bit more of a Buddhist Qigong practice, by the way. So this is part of there's a Taoist and there's a Buddhist Qigong and, and it, it kind of blends because Buddhists came from India and influenced Taoism and it becomes kind of like a it becomes like the new Taoism, if you, if you will, but but it's in origin this practice is very Buddhist. It it really influenced the Tao and kind of mixed with it and create so that we have we have uh we have buddhist qigong we have uh, taoist qigong this is kind of like a little bit more buddhist in nature uh, <clears throat> so there's a lot into there's a lot there there's a lot uh there's a lot there that we can uh un talk about uh but this is kind of like it, it, it's so important to work with the body so important it's very important to work because sometimes when you're very cerebral, you get lost. <laughs> and working with the sensation, working with the body itself, and this is really what Chinese medicine is based on, is not being too cerebral, is actually working with the body. We can work with the body to open the heart. We can work with the body, we can work with visualization, we can work with all of these tools that we have, like what we did in the beginning meditation, to feel better, to feel empowered. And to uh, and, and it's so very, very important to tie this work into the work of working with Shen. So we have Qigong and we're having Shen Gong.
yeah, working with consciousness and working with the chi. And uh, they both kind of support each other. So, uh, so this is kind of like what I wanted to uh, introduce <laughs> today. And uh, the, the, the both the work with this and with that and and uh, and I think the mo the hardest work here is stepping out of the comfort zone. It's really stepping out of the comfort zone, and we all we all really love our comfort zone, and we kind of unaware of it. You know, we uh, uh, until we 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 question it, and this is the work with the Shen, the Shen Gong work, like questions and choose something else, a different response to where you are this is starting to starting to kind of work with uh with with uh with stepping out of the comfort zone and putting yourself in spaces that are new and and what happens when you do that you're expanding you are in a place of growth because what happens is we grow older and older the energy shrinks shrinks and shrinks and we are becoming less comfortable in things that we were comfortable before until we only comfortable sitting on the sofa that's all and even stepping out of the house is too much you know so so that's what happens when when you grow older and older in the qigong they say the energy the energy shrink, and we have to expand our energy we have to go out of our comfort zone we have to put ourselves in uncomfortable situations sometimes and do things that are and and these places uh where we go out of the comfort zone we actually can expand our comfort zone so our comfort zone is here but when we starting to go out of the comfort zone all of a sudden after a while the comfort zone grows so we are able to and this is this is we call this conditioning you know, even in martial art, we call it conditioning the body and conditioning the mind. It's the same. It's the same exercise. You're lifting weights, low, light weight, and then heavier weight and heavier weight, and all of a sudden you can lift more. And then the same thing with the mind. Be flexible with the, like, okay, I can, I can choose this. I can choose this. And all of a sudden you are more, yeah, you, you can actually, your energy grows. You can tolerate more. You are not so um, uh, reactive to life, and so that's that's the work. And so you can see it as circle. The comfort zone and is here, and here is the is the growth zone, the challenge zone, if you will. And be the next round would be the risky zone. That you feel like really risky. <laughs> not gonna do that. That's too much. So don't do that. So do this. But then over time, risky zone would become the new challenge zone. And that's that's a that's a that's that's kind of like a little bit on on uh, on on uh, on on the comfort zone and how important it is to stretch ourselves to a new territory. Okay, I need, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Just to leave a few minutes here for anybody that wants to to share what do you think about this whole talk <laughs> there's a lot there there's actually many subjects but um um if anybody wants to add something to hey yeah gail yeah come on. of course go ahead of course <laughs> um when i was count uh counseling most people want to know who am i and it can be capsulized in what do you say, what do you think, and what do you do? And of course, you mentioned movement. So you are encompassing all of your learning into those three aspects. Who am I? What I say, what I do, and what I think. And it's a choice. And most people are uncomfortable with uncertainty. So it's a matter of, for me, being willing to rest comfortably with uncertainty. And you mentioned curiosity. And that is another quality. Rather than to reject 
or reframe, I call it the power of possibility. What's possible? Because that would be expanding your belief system. And again, I'm only rephrasing what you're saying in a different paradigm, but it's one and all. And what I'm learning from you, Ellie, is that the West is merging with the East and we're finding an interlinking and an interlocking of two philosophies. And I thank you for your teaching. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I think that you're, yeah, you're saying the, the same things in a, in a different way uh, of seeing it. Uh, I think you're coming from maybe a different paradigm, but we're all <laughs> talking the same, the same language <laughs> after all. <laughs> um, thank you for that. Yeah. So um, who else wants to say anything or to add anything to it? Marty, no, not today. Marty, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. Can you hear me? Last, yeah, yeah, last, of last yeah. week that was choppy. I know, no, now it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So you far. Know, this rings a I mean, this this is what I've been trying to do most of my life. My kids always say to me, Mom, step out of your box. You know? <laughs> and it, it, I mean, it's interesting because of the pandemic. I think we've all been needing to calm our bodies and figure out a new path to go forward. And so this, it, the practicing of all of these methods that you just spoke about is important to calm ourselves and to get focused um, to enjoy the rest of our lives because there's a lot ahead of us with a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. and so how we think about it uh, in changing it from a negative to a positive is for me very important at this point yes <laughs> yeah thank you yeah that's so important because the you know as the the pandemic forced a lot of people out of the box without them wanting to ever go out of the box and and they didn't like it and and, and their response was so uh reactionary and a lot of people i mean i dealt with a lot of calls from my client with uh, all kinds of things, panic attacks and I mean, you name it, like what happened and the health uh, really deteriorated in, 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 in some ways, you know, we, 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 uh, we may be trying to keep the virus from not spreading, but what did spread is a lot of stress and anxiety and all the, 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 the stuff that came with it. So I felt like, ah, oh, I don't know, <laughs> you know, there was the slogan, stay at home and, and save life. And I was not sure that this is what's happening. <laughs> but because uh, uh, I've 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 one of the front ends and uh, I, I got calls from people with all kinds of troubles that never had trouble before, never had ailment. And, you know, here it is. And 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 this reaction to the new and this is why it's so important, this practice. And this is why it's so important to step out of the box. And this is why it's important to exercise the mind um, and, and to, to step out of the comfort zone and to, to, to be aware, oh, hey, this is a new reality. How do I choose to resp How do, what, 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 is, what, what is the blessing behind it? What, you know, I mean, we can re rephrase things. Thank you so much, Marty. This is really powerful, especially in the time, this time. And you know what I want to, um, what I would like to uh, offer our next talk about is, is, is very appropriate for, for, for pandemic time. And I talked about it with a colleague of mine and it's, it's you know, it's, it's how do we, how do we create space because what happens is that a lot of people work from home and they do everything from home now. And, and it seems like the world is shrinking and there's not enough space to transition between one to another. Yeah, everything happens from the same place. We're not, you know, when you go out, like let's say you go out of the gym, so you stepped out of your house and you're going to a different environment. There's a, there's a changing of your energy. And then you meet people there and they change your energy as well. So the energy shifts and then you go to the pool and then you go to the grocery store. And 
And then things are, you're moving energy. <clears throat> what happens now is that you order your, your, your food from the phone and you're talking to your, your friends from Zoom and then you, you exercise at home and you're not having a way to change your energy and and to and to really really and this is a lot of stagnation happen that way emotional stagnation that mental stagnation that creates bodily stagnation so i'd like to address that next time and to to give some some tips and and really work with uh, and because this is really what qigong is good for how to make transitions so that's that's really really important that's what i was helping my one-on-one uh, -on -one clients with is how to make transitions because because uh, a, a lot of people are still at home and and um, and I don't know if you're you you feel me on this <laughs> yeah um, so that's very very important okay well thank you for this conversation thank you for coming let's close this uh, I just want to keep this on on time for anybody that listens to it uh, afterwards so uh, and so here's the the, the next time we, we we will talk about transitions, and we will talk about how to how to uh, we'll give you some some really good tips for that. Uh, so let's close it with cl closing our eyes and putting our hands on the heart. So once you put your hands on the heart, even though you're thinking different things or whatever, but you put your hands on the heart, the subconscious mind already know it goes to the heart center and it's already a posture you're making something with your hand and so that there's energy here in the heart and just stay in this position and again kind of like what we did in the beginning of the practice just acknowledge your physical form and shape of your body areas of tension areas of flow areas that feels hot and cold or whatnot just any physical sensation that relates to this body in this posture and move your energy to the heart And at the same time that you're feeling your heart, feel also your feet touching on the floor. So the, the fire element is the heart and the earth is yin energy is, is grounding the fire in the heart. So it's earth and fire. Yeah, it's so, so important and so, so great for summer, actually. So feeling the feet, feeling the heart. And let's lower our hands into the Dantian, into the navel area. Feeling the Dantian, the lower abdomen area. And feeling the feet. Lower belly and feet. Breathe deeply. And ground your chi. And this is very grounding belly and earth. And see if you can take something out of this talk today into your life see if there's anything that you can a task or some some exercise some practice that you can 
do for tomorrow or today or for next week with this. Nice, and let's open the hand, open the eyes. Beautiful, thank you so much for joining me. Let's, uh, let's uh, meet next week and talk about transition and kind of relate it to the, this time that we are all sitting at home doing everything from home. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate your, your participation and coming here. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you, Gail, Marty. Thank you, Edward. And see you next time. Bye. <laughs>